Hello, I'm Richard Trenholm of CNET UK with your guide to buying an entry-level DSLR. Pocket cameras are pretty clever these days, but if you want to take your photography to the next level, you want a digital SLR. You only need to make a few basic decisions about what you want to use your camera for. Do you want it to be super portable? Do you want to shoot fantastic video? Do you want to buy lots of lenses or just stick with one good all-rounder? Once you've got these basic questions figured out, any of the cameras featured in our handy roundup will produce great results. With all these fancy features to choose from, making your decision can be intimidating, but don't panic. Entry-level cameras are designed to be easy to get to grips with if you're moving up from a pocket camera. And the good news is they've never been easier to use or more affordable. Today's entry-level DSLRs take care of the complicated stuff automatically and even guide you and teach you how to take charge of your photography. First off, let's think about lenses. Each company makes a range of lenses for different situations, and once you've bought your camera, you're committed to that camera's lenses. But there's a vast range of lenses for most of the big names like Canon, Nikon, Pentax and Sony. Older lenses, or lenses made by third parties, are often cheaper, so you don't have to spend a fortune on your chosen lens. The lens you want depends on what you want to do. If you're planning on shooting wildlife, say, or sporting action, you'll need a longer zoom lens to appear closer to the animals or the sportsmen. But if you want a lightweight snapper for candid portraits of your friends, you can opt for a pancake lens that'll just about fit in a jacket pocket. And there's absolutely no shame in sticking with the kit lens that comes with the camera. 18 to 55 mm lenses are pretty standard, giving a nice balance between portability and distance. And then there's video. Even though compact cameras and mobile phones have been shooting video for a while, video is a relatively recent arrival to the DSLR. But the ability to swap lenses for different effects make your home movies look like something else. If you're serious about shooting superb quality video, look out for features such as external mic inputs and lenses that focus and zoom silently. And finally, make sure you're comfortable actually holding and using the camera. Try it out in a shop even if you're buying online. There's no point investing all that cash in a camera that's so heavy you never fancy lugging it about anywhere. If you like the feel of the camera, then that's half the battle. For more on the best entry-level SLR cameras, check out the reviews section of CNET UK or bookmark our roundups of the best cameras and tell us how you're getting on in the comments or on our Facebook page. I'm Richard Trenholm of CNET UK.